best NFL player from every major category, the shortest player, JJ Taylor. He's 5'6". The average running back is 6 feet tall and he's 5'6". He is tiny. The fastest player, Tyreek Hill. When he was younger, he used to race wild dogs and he won the races. But it's not just his speed that's impressive. Tyreek is explosive. He reaches top speed in about 2 seconds. He gets to 25 miles per hour faster than a car does. What? The slowest player, Tom Brady. In his rookie season, he was already the slowest player with a 517 40 yard dash. 23 years later, at the age of 45, he is even slower. But the funniest part is he's actually running the ball more this season than he has his entire career. The strongest arm, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes used to be a pitcher, and in NFL history, when a quarterback was a pitcher, it always meant that they could throw the ball far. One time, Mahomes was seen throwing the ball 90 yards. There were rumors that Josh Allen threw the ball 100 yards, but we don't have any proof for that. So that's why we're sticking with Patrick Mahomes. The weakest arm! If we did this last year, it would have been Tua Tylova, but he's proven us all wrong ever since getting Tyreek Hill. It is Andy Dalton! He's got a noodle arm! Kinda like me! Averaging only 7 yards per pass in his career, he is a check down machine. Passing accuracy. Geno Smith has the highest completion percentage in the NFL, but he throws a lot of short passes. Patrick Mahomes has a completion percentage about 5% lower, but almost all of those passes are deep and tough throws. So his percentage is a lot more impressive than Geno Smith's percentage, and we're gonna give it to Patrick Mahomes. Deep pass accuracy. This is gonna sound crazy. Mac Jones. He has no good wide receivers at all, but it's a miracle because he has the highest deep ball completion percentage in the NFL. He is the last person I would expect to be on this list. Throw on the run. Patrick Mahomes, let me take your crown off because someone new is in town. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts might be the only quarterback with a higher passer rating outside the pocket than inside the pocket. It makes no sense. Every game we see the same thing. Jalen Hurts rolls out of the pocket, launches it deep to AJ Brown, and they get a touchdown. That rhymed. The strongest player. Aaron Donald is who we're all thinking about, but it's not him. It's Quentin Nelson, the left guard for the Colts. Standing 6'5", 340 pounds, this guy is the reason the Colts O-line is one of the best. We've seen him handle the best defenders, Micah Parsons, TJ Watt, and even Aaron Donald. It's because of his absurd strength. When Quentin was in third grade, his coaches didn't let him play against other third graders. He was so big that he had to play against 8th graders. The weakest player, Rex Burkhead. He might also be the worst running back in the NFL and that's not a coincidence. I might be salty because I had him on my fantasy team and I had to watch him play horrifically. Rex Burkhead has zero strength. The best hands, DeAndre Hopkins and it's not even a question. He has the regular season record with zero drops in a season. Nobody can ever beat that record forever. And it's not like he rarely gets the ball. When he plays, he's always the most targeted wide receiver. So for him to have so few drops is a miracle. The heaviest player, Terrell Brown. Make sure you're sitting down when you hear this. He is 6'10", 390 pounds. I didn't know humans could be that big. He is 101 pounds heavier than Aaron Donald. <laughs> what? The lightest player. I almost didn't research this because I just assumed it would be Rex Burkhead, but I was wrong, it's not him. 
His name is Deontay Harty, and he is a measly 170 pounds. I think the NFL should have a weight minimum, because if this guy gets hit-sticked by any strong player, his career is over. Tackling. This one surprised me. It's Jordan Brooks from the Seattle Seahawks. He averages over 10 tackles per game. He has 160 tackles in 15 games. That is utterly insane. The hardest hitter. Usually it's a safety that's the hardest hitter, but we have an exception this season. There is one guy who is so unbelievably strong that even as a D lineman, he's the hardest hitter. And I think you know who it is. His name is Miles Garrett. Nobody hits harder and nobody forces more fumbles than Garrett. Catch in traffic, Mike Williams. This guy's highlights are unbelievable. Nobody gets as many one-on-one -on -one deep throws as Mike because he's so good at catching in traffic. If my life is on the line and I need one receiver to make a contested catch to save my life, I'm choosing Mike Williams. Route running. Cooper Cup, and I don't want to hear it, no debate. He's not big, he's not strong, and he's not even that fast. Yet this guy gets open more than any receiver in the league when he's healthy. Tell me, how does he get over 10 receptions per game when he's double teamed every game? Because route running is not just how well you run the route. It's about finding the weak spot in the defense, and nobody does that better than Cup. Interceptions. Trayvon Diggs. He had 11 interceptions last season, the third most in NFL history. He is the most aggressive cornerback we have seen in a long time. Does that mean he gets beat sometimes to give up touchdowns? Yes, it does, but those gambles he takes gets him a ton of picks. Interceptions thrown. Matt Ryan. I don't know how a veteran like this can throw so many interceptions. There is no excuse for Matt Ryan. Fumbles. Which player has fumbled the ball the most? You have got to be kidding me. It's Matt Ryan again. If you combine his interceptions and fumbles, he has 30 turnovers in 15 games. Colts, do yourself a favor, get a new quarterback. The highest vertical. We have an NFL record with Byron Jones. He broke the record with a 44 inch vertical. For a football player, that is unheard of. Most players with a high vertical don't last in the NFL too long. They get drafted because of their athleticism, but then their talent gets them dropped. But Byron Jones is the one player with a high vertical who still has enough talent to stay in the league. Football IQ. Tom Brady, no debate. Yeah, the Bucks have been terrible, but despite that, he only has five interceptions this season, which is seriously impressive. But the best stat for football IQ is how many sacks you've taken. Smart quarterbacks throw the ball away before they get sacked. And it's only been 17 sacks for Brady. If you think that's a lot, let's compare it with MVP candidate Jalen Hurts, who has been sacked 36 times this season. Boom! The best moves. Saquon Barkley. We've talked about his legs before. He has human tree trunks for legs, and those tree trunks are explosive, allowing him to do every move you can imagine for a running back. The most versatile player, Taysom Hill. He is a unicorn. Who do we know that can throw the ball, play running back, and catch the ball all at a high level like Taysom Hill? Oh, you think he doesn't throw it well? His passer rating this season is 112.1, the highest in the NFL. The highest! Running, 6.8 yards per carry, also the highest in the NFL. And just the cherry on top, he has two receiving touchdowns. Nobody in the NFL is like Taysom Hill.
the most durable player. You thought it was Tom Brady? Me too, but I was wrong. <clears throat> Nadama Kasu, and just listen to this stat, it's insane. In his 13 year career, he has not missed a single game due to injury. Not one. The toughest player, Matthew Stafford. Do you remember the game where he dislocated his shoulder, but then came back in to throw a game-winning touchdown while his shoulder was literally out of the socket? It's been years since that moment, and I still haven't seen a tougher play than that. The clutchest player, Josh Allen. During the game, he can make some dumb mistakes, some bad interceptions in the red zone. But in the fourth quarter, nobody gets as focused and in the zone as Josh Allen. That's why he has the most game-winning drives this season. Kicking power, Harrison Butker for the Chiefs. He nailed a 62-yard field goal this season against the Bills, the longest for any kicker this season. Kicking accuracy, Justin Tucker, and there is no competition. Some kickers have a better percentage because all they take are 30 and 40 yard field goals, but Justin Tucker always takes long field goals every game and is still over 90% on the season. The tallest player, Terrell Brown, who is 6 foot 10. 